public electric vehicle charging is kind of still in its infancy. After all, it's only been around for a little more than a decade. It is getting better, but there's one aspect about it that really hasn't improved all that much, and that's helping people new to electric vehicles figure out what's the best charger for them to stop at while they're at a road trip. Yes, in-car route planning has definitely gotten better than how it was just a few years ago, but it still can be a little bit daunting for those new to electric vehicles when they're on a long road trip trying to figure out exactly what's the best charger for them to stop at. Now, I've always used a number of EV charging apps in addition to my in-vehicle route planning to help me figure out what was the best stop for me to make. And one of the apps that I always used was Chargeway. And Chargeway has a unique method of identifying charging stations. It uses a numeric and color-coded system and also custom tailors all of the information to your specific vehicle. And that helps people, particularly those that are new to electric vehicle charging, figure out what's the best stop for them to make. So when I found out that Chargeway was gonna be updating the app and adding an important new feature, I invited Matt Teske, the founder and CEO of Chargeway, to come on and let the State of Charge community know exactly what this new feature is. And that's what we're gonna be doing here today. Coming up next, I have Matt Teske on to talk about Chargeway and how the app is getting better starting today. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm here today with Matt Teske, founder and CEO of Chargeway. Uh, Matt has been uh, no stranger to State of Charge. Uh, he's been on a few times here. Welcome back, Matt. It's always great to uh, see you. Great to see you too, Tom. Thanks for having me. Okay, so Matt, before we get into the new exciting news, uh, why don't you tell uh, the State of Charge community a little bit about w what Chargeway is and why you started it? Because uh, as hard as it may be, be to believe there may be some people out there that aren't exactly aware of what Chargeway is. So give us a little company history. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so Chargeway uh, was founded uh, at this point. Now we've been in market for about six, seven years. Uh, the idea came for Chargeway about 12 years ago when I got my first TV and screwed up a road trip with my wife and realized I didn't understand how charging worked. And my background's automotive and I've done a lot of marketing communication work in automotive with auto, auto brands and, and dealerships and aftermarket companies. And so through that moment and what I've worked on through Chargeway is, is explaining how electricity as a fuel works in a way that is easy for everyone to understand. So we built out a simple system of colors and numbers to identify plug type for color, power with numbers, and then put it into a mobile app and software platform so we could visualize these options more effectively for everyone. So once you choose your car, uh, Chargeway does the rest. We show you what plug color your car has, what stations match your plug color, and then the numbers signify power, which indicate charge time. And so it's really designed to explain all of the engineering that, again, a lot of your viewers are very well aware of. But as we grow into a mass market audience, we really need to just make it more approachable for people to understand how this works. And that's the goal of Chargeway. Yeah. And what's important is I think a lot of people that are new to EVs don't really understand that even particularly with DC fast chargers, the the power level that each charger can put out could be drastically different. Yeah. Uh, and 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 even it even gets more complicated, even when they're advertised as, a let's say, a 200 kilowatt charger. Well, you, it can deliver 200 kilowatts to an EV that has a thousand volt battery system. But right. you roll up in your, you know, GM Ultium pack that's that has like 320 volts yeah. and, and, and all of a sudden you're pulling like 60 kilowatts and you're like, why is this? The, the, it's supposed <laughs> to be a 200 kilowatt charger. Yeah. And that's what I've always liked about Chargeway. You really help people understand that all DC fast chargers aren't alike. Mm. And whereas a lot of the other apps that help you find chargers basically say, oh, there's a 200 kilowatt charger here, but they don't go farther to tell people, well, you know, this is the car you drive. So only expect this level of power. And Chargeway does that, which, um, you know, I, I always found super interesting. So um, 
you've got some new information, new things, a new announcement coming out. Let's yep. jump into that now. What do you got for us? Well, yeah. So, I mean, the thing we focused on for a long time was plug in power. We knew people would have to learn and understand that to enjoy their EV and choose the right station. Um, we've integrated a lot of real time status for public chargers in North America. Over 70% of public chargers are now in real time uh, in Chargeway. And that's been an ongoing process. But one of the other factors people talk about all the time is price because it's effectively hidden. <laughs> there's no there's no marquee. We hear it all the time about it'd be great if there was these gigantic marquees saying what's the price per kilowatt hour, for example. Like but, gasoline, well, you know, exactly. at a gas station. You know, you've got this big sign. You could drive by. Oh, I'm not going to that one. I saw one for 50 cents less a gallon a half a mile back. <laughs> exactly. You right. don't get that with with EV charging. No, and, and, and people shop for fuel that way. They shop based on price because frankly, the connector is universal. The fill up time is effectively universal and availability for the most part of gas stations is pretty wide open. So the, the factors that people need to think about for charging, you know, plug type, power for charge time and availability, we've captured all of that within Chargeway through our platform, but we're now adding dynamic real-time pricing within Chargeway. And so what this allows for is just like you said, you can tap on a pin, for example, in Chargeway, and Chargeway Plus users will be able to see real-time pricing based on their current state of charge and their charge limit for their car. So it creates a digital marquee for basically every charging station you can tap on. And that's the last piece of real visibility that you know, the public, they don't understand how electricity prices can fluctuate. And we need to identify that clearly. So this has been a big effort on our part to make that happen. Yeah, and a lot of the major networks now have dynamic pricing that wasn't the case years ago like when you started charge way i don't think anybody had a different and they didn't have a different no. price depending on the time of day this yeah. is all the last couple of years now i have my f-150 lightning it has a big battery 130 kilowatt hour or so if i were to drain it down to zero to 100 i, I might put in 135 140 kilowatt hour and if i go to uh even a tesla supercharger let's say because i have the next adapter now or an EVgo station, or even Electrify America station near me, I could pay, uh, you know, thirty or forty percent more if yep. I charge during peak time rather than if I went during off-peak hours. And how do you know that? Right. You know, like uh, ha the the apps don't really communicate. Although Tesla does a decent job, I'll give Tesla mm -hmm. a little credit. They do a decent job with their you know, with, with their pricing broken up, um, but most of the other networks don't. Mm -hmm. And you 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 know you don't know. Oh wow, if I pulled up an hour later, I would have saved twenty dollars charging. Right. That's yep. it's real money. It's not like a dollar or two more if you have a big battery pack and you're going to charge a lot. So I, I, I suppose the, the app is going to make it easy for people to to figure out what when the pricing is and when it changes. Exactly. And, and, you, and you brought up the best points is, you know, the way that people shop for gasoline is they just will shop by price and marquee and the lack of visibility into that. And especially as you described, when we first started out, you know, a lot of us in the EV space, we had price that was not even by kilowatt hours, by minute predominantly. And mm -hmm. we've had to kind of graduate into price by kilowatt hour. But the dynamic pricing is really is where people that have been driving gas cars forever it's a very unfamiliar reality because the gas price at the gas station, it might change maybe day to day or weekly, but it's not going to change during the day in the way that you just described, which is it could save you maybe $20 if you have an F-150 Lightning or a Rivian, for example, or even again, smaller vehicles, it still is a price difference. So the way that we've designed it in Chargeway is we are going to represent and show you for, again, the, the vast majority of public chargers, what you're going to see for price per kilowatt hour. But then if you're a Chargeway Plus user, when you tap the station pin on the map, on the pin itself, it will show you a calculated total price to charge in that given moment based on your battery settings. So you can either connect your vehicle through Chargeway Plus so we know your state of charge and charge limit, or you can opt to not connect your car and just manually adjust your battery so you can actually start to get a sense for what your cost to charge will be at various stations. And then you can just tap around on the map and start seeing a price for here, a price for there. And if you scroll into the details, that's where you can see what you're describing, which is right now it might be 20 bucks, but maybe earlier it was 40 and maybe late at night it might be 12. And we will show that visually inside of the station information. Yeah, there's a big difference in some of the networks from off peak hours and peak hours. Yeah. And it could be a little um, inconvenient to go charge late at night, but hey, if you're saving money and you know you, you don't mind going during off peak hours, you could really uh, save a lot over the course of a year. You know, I mean, you look at ten or fifteen dollars per fill up. Let's say you might charge 
If you can't charge at home and you're relying on public charging network, which some people do if you live in apartments or so forth, it's it's going to be real money. You know, I mean, you, yeah. it could easily be six hundred to over a thousand dollars over the course of a year. Yeah, um, it, so, it adds up in a fast yeah. way. And and th that's something that, again, part of our education around you need to know your plug. You need to know where your adapters can be used. You need to know what power is. You need to see visibility. We are, again, in Chargeway, we're showing all of that. And as an industry, we still need to educate around that. But this pricing component has become a very, very important topic for people that finally do get into EVs. Or even mm -hmm. if they're not an EV owner yet, that question pops up where they'll say, but yeah, how much does it cost at a public charger? And a good example is he even I, we're based in Portland, Oregon. We're right on the Columbia River between Washington and Oregon. And if you're looking at certain stations that are across the river, just state to state, you might see a difference at the same time of ten to fifteen dollars for the same network, yeah. just because of how the electricity pricing works in those two states. So these are little factors that we wanted to just provide visibility into. So again, as a Chargeway Plus user, once you've got everything set up, you can just start tapping around and start to see those prices dynamically right on the map. Right. And, and, you know, I do want to talk about Chargeway Plus quickly because that's a paid subscription feature that you added, I would say, about a year ago, I think. Was it last mm -hmm. summer-ish? Yep. Or, or something like Yeah. So, um, uh, tell, you know, let us know what do you get for Chargeway Plus and what does it, what, first of all, what does it cost? Mm -hmm. I, I, I admit I'm, I'm embarrassed to admit I'm not a Chargeway Plus uh, customer, but I use Chargeway a lot. It's like my go-to app. Uh, maybe I will have to subscribe a after this. Um, and I, I honestly just f fell off my radar when you first announced it. I was like, oh, let me do that so I could see what the extra features are. But yeah. um, tell us, what exactly do you get uh, mm -hmm. as a Chargeway Plus customer? When we launched it a year ago, so Chargeway Plus is $5.99 a month, and we're going to be introducing annual uh, pricing as well for discounted rates. We've had a lot of people ask for that. So we'll be introducing that later this year. And what you get with Charger Plus when we first launched it, it was in partnership with a lot of our utility partners that are trying to get visibility into what's happening with people's charging habits and also promote them to sign up for managed charging programs. And so we've been operating Charger Plus for about a year, getting testing done for connected vehicle experiences, getting feedback from the drivers saying what they like, what they don't like about it, how easy is it you know, for them to see what they're getting. So when they do sign up, they can connect their vehicle. It's through a telematics program. So they sign into their OEM account and it just passes the information for their vehicle's battery, state of charge, charge limit. And for most makes and models, they can start and stop and control their charging. So if they're at home charging, for example, they can just stop the charge from chargeway. They can start it up again, things like that. That was where we started out with Plus was to give a an automated feature around what you could control and see for your vehicle's battery. But then it automated charge time estimates at public stations as well. So there was a lot of little features that came along with it. This new addition with the pricing feature that's being built in, all Chargeway Plus users will automatically get this pricing information rolled into their Chargeway Plus account. So it's an additive feature now to Chargeway Plus where not only can you connect your car, but you can also now see real-time pricing. And we, we leave it optional. If you don't want to connect your car, but you still want to see the real-time pricing information, you can see the real-time pricing information with Chargeway Plus. Great. Well, listen, Matt, thanks for coming on. I appreciate that. Exciting news over at Chargeway. I want to remind everybody, if you haven't already downloaded the Chargeway app, please do. I think you're going to appreciate using it. And also check out the Chargeway Plus. That might be a feature that you want to use also. And if it's a first time here at State of Charge, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle news and reviews. And Matt, thanks for coming on. I always appreciate uh, talking to you. And uh, this won't be the last time that we have you on State of Charge. Uh, make sure you let me know the next time you have something, uh, a new feature coming out on Chargeway. Of course, we'll do. Thanks for the time. And again, for everybody that's going to charge that hasn't, we're looking forward to getting feedback. But if you want to see plug, power, price, and availability in one glance, well, Chargeway's got it now. So, All right. Well, thanks for coming on. And thank you, everybody, for watching.